Hey guys, Vimal here and welcome back to my channel. So two weeks ago, Samsung launched their brand new Galaxy A53 5G phone in the Indian market and I've been using it since then and now I think I'm like ready to share like my complete review on this model. So we'll be talking a lot about this phone guys. I'll be covering both the pros and cons and share my raw thoughts about this model. So make sure to watch this video till the end as it can be like quite crucial in case if you're planning to buy this phone. Now we're already done with the unboxing and like initial impressions guys. So I won't be covering all of that again in this video you can check out that video on my channel anyways let's get started so first let's talk about the design in hand feel and the comfort of use samsung's galaxy a53 5g is like an upgrade and successor to their already existing a52 phone guys not the a52s so keep that in mind and talking about the design the phone looks quite beautiful guys now the design is pretty similar to their previous gen a52 series phones but you do have like subtle differences like especially near the camera bump now you have like a 3d slope elevated platform and kind of looks quite attractive on the overall guys beautiful looking phone and definitely a head turner for this price point and talking about the build quality very good build quality guys though body is made of polycarbonate material but looks quite nice and best part is the whole phone is like ip67 dust and water resistant so quite durable in any sort of weather you can even use it during rain also nothing will happen to it in fact you can even submerge it in water guys fresh water up to like one meter for 30 minutes and nothing's going to happen so benefit is you can even do some like underwater photography and to show that i'm gonna quickly drop this phone in a bowl of water and show it now that is pretty sick right you can do some good underwater photography and videography using this phone so even in case your phone falls in a swimming pool by mistake nothing is going to happen to the phone though one thing you'll have to keep in mind is touch screen won't work underwater guys basic logic now moving on let's talk about the display the galaxy a53 5g features a 6.5 inch super amoled 1080p display and best part about it is it's got 120 hertz high refresh rate guys and let me tell you display quality of this phone Phone is very good now Samsung makes one of the best displays on phones guys and there is nothing less you can expect from this model great display there's good amount of detail thanks to that 1080p resolution pictures look great you can use it for like media consumption excellent for that purpose and there are good amount of colors white balance is also nice good dynamic range you'll be like quite satisfied with this display guys I've been browsing and watching a lot of content especially on like Netflix Amazon Prime video and was like quite satisfied with the results though one thing I do have to mention is the phone doesn't support HDR content guys you can't play videos in HDR on YouTube or any sort of OTT platform so this is something you'll have to keep in mind but apart from that I was like quite satisfied with the results and talking about the brightness phone's brightness is also like quite bright and sufficient guys you will have no problems even under direct sunlight cause it can go up to like 800 nits in the high brightness mode like super bright and satisfactory and talking about the speakers the galaxy a53 5g features stereo speakers powered by dolby atmos guys one on the bottom and the other one is the earpiece and quality of the speakers is very good they're producing good clarity with minimum distortion and audio output is also loud and satisfactory and on top of that you've got dolby atmos eq also right so they'll automatically tune the profiles depending on the type of content you're watching so you'll be like quite satisfied with the sound quality on this thing okay i know you people have been waiting for this part so let's talk about the performance galaxy a53 5g is powered by exynos 1280 chipset now it's a brand new cpu based on a 5 nanometer process and first of all let me tell you a53 is like an upgrade and successor to their old a52 guys not the a52s and compared to a52 that one actually came with snapdragon 750g and 750g is definitely like slower than exynos 1280 how much improvement well exynos 1280 is almost like five to six percent faster in terms of cpu performance and offers 33 percent better gpu performance so this phone is definitely an upgrade and improvement over the previous gen but if you compare it with the a52s that actually has like snapdragon 778g guys and 778g is faster than the exynos 1280 cpu now see in terms of day-to-day -day usage the phone was performing very well guys a53 i had no sort of lags or stutters navigating through the ui opening and closing of apps transitions everything was like buttery smooth and on top of that you do have a 120 hertz display right so muska guys everything looks so smooth and fluidic on this display but coming to the gaming performance now here you might start comparing with the a52s or any other competitor because exynos 1280 is not that great for gaming now you can play games on it i even played games like asphalt 9 
nine BGMI and it was performing well, but you just can't push it to max, guys. For example, you can play Asphalt 9, but you don't have 60 FPS option, and you might feel like slight lag and stutter here and there once in a while while you're playing it at high visual settings. And coming to BGMI, in BGMI also you can only play it like medium or high graphics, that too with like 30 FPS frame rate. There is no 60 FPS option. It is not supported, guys. So these are the settings that you can play on. But apart from that, guys, if you talk about the heating or efficiency, well, heating issue is not at all there on this phone because Exynos 1280 is a very efficient chipset, guys, based on a five nanometer process. And even when I played for like continuously for 35 to 40 minutes also, I didn't face any sort of heating issues over here. Uh, max temperatures I recorded was around like 40 degrees, guys, that too near the camera area after playing for like 35 or 40 minutes. Now let's talk about the cameras. Cameras on this phone are quite impressive guys and it packs a 64 megapixel quad camera setup primary one is a 64 megapixel f1.8 and supports optical image stabilization also and features a sony sensor then you've got a 12 megapixel ultra wide angle camera 5 megapixel macro is there and 5 megapixel for depth sensing and i've shot a lot of sample pictures guys in different situations different scenes and different lighting situations and was quite impressed with the camera results just look at these samples there's good amount of detail colors look rich and vibrant dynamic range also looks nice right good amount of detail in the shadow and highlight areas and was quite impressed with the results guys and apart from that major thing over here is it's got optical image stabilization support so whenever you're shooting videos you can shoot 4k 30 and 1080p 60 fps videos and in 1080p 30 you actually have like ois plus eis support guys so you can get like super stable results i'll show you a sample video of that with optical image stabilization just look at this even though I'm walking with phone in my hand, the video looks quite stable, right? Just like I shot using a gimbal. Very nice results. And apart from that, the phone also supports a couple of interesting features. For example, in the post-processing, when you head over to the gallery app, here you'll find something known as photo remaster. Now, if you have a couple of old photos or low compressed photos or low quality photos, you can actually use this feature and this will automatically process it using AI and, you know, remaster the whole thing and give you better looking results. It was working quite well on old or maybe like low compressed photos and it was giving like good results, but it was not that that effective on like already good looking photos. It was just giving like a creative sort of look on them. And apart from that, you do have something known as object eraser also guys. And using this feature, you can remove any sort of unwanted subject or item from a picture. For example, you're taking a selfie and somebody photo bombs in your picture and you don't want them in the frame. You can easily use this object eraser function and remove them from the picture just like this. We're almost coming to an end, so let me tell you about the battery life. Battery life on this phone is quite impressive, guys. It packs a 5000 mAh battery, so definitely a bump from the previous gen phone. And on a moderate sort of use, I was getting around like 5.5 to 6 hours of screen on time. And you can easily get like one whole day of usage, guys. One whole day, you'll easily make it through. And coming to the charging part, well, it supports 25 watt fast charging, but unfortunately, you don't get a charger in the box, guys. Not happening anymore with 2022 Samsung phone so you'll have to spend extra money and buy that charger first and apart from that if you talk about the little things like software updates and all that uh, you might already know right these days all samsung's new phones are coming with their one ui 4.1 update and they come out with android 12 out of the box guys so like up to date over here and you do have like nfc support samsung pay is also available and samsung knock security is there alt z secure folder all these stuff are available over here and apart from that samsung says that this phone will support four years of OS upgrades and five years of security updates guys so this is something I'll really have to appreciate so that is pretty much it guys my complete review on different aspects about this phone you're getting a great super AMOLED display 64 megapixel excellent camera setup over here IP67 dust and water assistant and offers good battery life as well overall good phone for this price point and an average consumer will be quite happy with the phone but if you're actually planning for a gaming phone around this price point then this might not be the best choice for you for this price point guys you can actually check out like maybe A52s or you can actually head over to their S20 F fee guys which is slightly like two or three thousand expensive than this and offers like better gaming results choice is up to you guys i'll just leave links in the description box below you can check it out there so that is pretty much it guys i hope you all enjoyed watching this video and got to know everything make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos and i'll see you all in my next one